Hey guys, my name is Anthony Fontana. I'm a CPA. And in this video, we're going to go over the electric vehicle tax credit for 2022, how to get it done on TurboTax, and ultimately what it looks like on the tax form. Let's go. All right, so the IRS has this nice website that explains everything about this electric vehicle tax credit for 2022. You'll see that we can get up to $7,500 is the max of the credit for 2022. Um, and it is all dependent upon the battery capacity. And you'll see soon also with how many vehicles the manufacturer has produced. And this electric vehicle credit is non-refundable. You see that right here. So you can't get back more uh, more on the credit than you owe in taxes. So we need a liability of at least $7,500 for to be able to utilize this whole thing. Um, and essentially there is no carryover, unfortunately. All right, so who qualifies new car or light truck, individual businesses, and for your own use and in the U.S.? Qualified vehicles, it's got to be electric car, right? You got to plug it in and it's got to have a gross weight, gross vehicle weight rating less than 14,000 pounds. And the manufacturer hasn't sold more than 200,000 EVs in the US. There's this nice hyperlink here that essentially takes you to the page where it tells you which manufacturers qualify for how much of a credit here. Uh, and spoiler alert, Teslas don't qualify for this credit in 2022. Another caveat here is if you bought your car after August 16th of 2022, you, the car must undergo final assembly in North America. Now, there is this nice hyperlink here where you can find out by searching the VIN number of your car to see where this car had the final assembly. All right, so if you click on that link, it is going to give you this website here. You go down to the bottom, you just put your car's VIN number right here, and it's going to, you click that submit button, and it's going to just tell you right away where this thing, this the final assembly was, right? You'll see this car, my car, the Mazda, Japan. So this wouldn't qualify. It's an electric vehicle anyways, but nonetheless, just so you see. Now there's this other little caveat here, purchase date versus delivery date, right? It's essentially saying that if you bought this thing before August and you took possession before the new year, but after August 16th, you can still claim the credit based on, well, essentially not having this final assembly rule here. But if you purchased it between August 16th and the end of the year, but you don't take delivery until the new year, then essentially these rules don't apply. The 2023 rules apply and essentially you just don't get the credit until 23. We got some rules on what a binding contract is. I think this is pretty straightforward, but you know, take a look at that if you have questions and how to claim the credit. All right, let's do it. Let's take a look at TurboTax to get this done. All right, so once we're into TurboTax, you wanna click on this federal here, deductions and credits. We'll go to this page here. If you don't already have this energy efficient vehicles in this like blue section, you have to scroll down here, cars and other things. You'll hit that show more uh, energy efficient vehicles and click on that button there. Okay. It's going to ask you essentially like uh, what type of energy vehicle did you buy? Right. And generally speaking, this is a car four wheels. We're going to click this one here uh, and continue. Right, it does have four wheels. That's what we're gonna say. It's gonna tell us, yep, bad news. Tesla, Chevy, Cadillac don't qualify for this. Okay, we know this, keep going. Um, and what year is this car? You're gonna check that box there. Um, and then the meat and potatoes here. What exactly car is this? So I'm gonna use the Hyundai Ioniq 5. It was the car, the electric car of the year with car and driver, something like that. Uh, apparently a good car. So we'll use this one here. Just hit that button. We're going to put in the VIN number, right? I'm using that for my car, but whatever it is, what it is. Uh, model Ionic 5, right? When did we acquire this thing, right? When did you buy this thing? Let's say 0522. And when did we place it in service? When did we get this car? Now, as we said previously, right, there is the uh, caveat for, you know, the what was it, the after August 16th. So if you bought it before August 16th and you got it um, after, but, but before the, the new year, right, we can still claim with the prior rule. So what you would want to do if that was the case, you can essentially just put August 15th, even if you got it in September. Okay, so that's that's that thing there. Okay, so uh, in this case, I'm going to use the, the same day. I bought it, got it the same day. 
um, the kilowatt hours. So you, you should know this uh, based on like essentially the sticker, uh, window sticker, right? That's essentially where we find out a lot of this information. Um, but nonetheless, you put that information in there. I just looked it up on their website, 77.4. Uh, and the gross vehicle weight, I also look this up, 53, 57, 53, 7. And I click continue. And essentially it's saying, okay, this is the credit that you should get essentially. And if it doesn't ma match the manufacturer's certification, so you should have got that uh, for the, the amount of credit that you're eligible for. But I don't know, maybe TurboTax in calculates this incorrectly sometimes. And if so, you know, you would have to make sure you put that whatever's on the certification there. All right, click continue and voila, there it is. All right, so what does this look like on a tax return when you get done with TurboTax or any software that you're using to prepare your tax returns? You want to actually review the return, the forms that are getting filed to make sure this is all getting reported properly, right? So we would want to take a look at the Schedule 3 here. You'll see the amount of the credit should be here, uh, F line, what is that, 6F here for the amount for the electric vehicle credit, okay? There's that, and that number should have came. We also wanna review the 8936. This is the form we use, right, to report it. So you'll have like, you know, the, the year of the car, the type of car, the VIN, right, when we place this thing in service, how much that credit is, and, and there you go, right? And uh, yeah, that's the credit there, all right? I hope the video was helpful for you. If it was, like, share, subscribe. Thank you guys so much.